There's still a mystery of the location of the Ark of the Covenant, and it's deepening. Where is it located? Because we know it was hidden. It was hidden before the uh, uh, exile into uh, the Babylonian exile. And now, it could, uh, could this holy artifact be hidden in Jerusalem? Well, some people think so. The sacred gold-covered wooden chest it's supposed to be containing the two stone tablets in which Moses, onto which Moses inscribed the Ten Commandments. Not the first set, the second set, because the first set he broke. There was a second set. The second set was in there, also the jar of manna, and also the budding uh, uh, staff uh, of Aaron. So those three things were there, and uh, inside the Ark of the Covenant. But it disappeared from Jerusalem over 2,000 years ago and has long become a legend and uh, historians and archaeologists are trying to find out where, where it's located, where it could be hidden. The long-lost Ark of the Covenant made it into the news again late last year after archaeologists from Tel Aviv University uncovered a large stone table among the ruins of the temple of the town of Beit Shemesh it's about 20 kilometers west of Jerusalem, on which they believe the Ark was once stored before being transferred to Jerusalem in the 10th century BC. And it's thought that the ruins of this temple at Beit Shemesh may have been an attempt by King David of Judah to find a permanent place for the Ark. King Solomon, David's son, was his successor. He was the one that built the first temple. Um, he ruled in... Um, the United Kingdom of Israel, before his, uh, it was divided after one of his sons took over, um, between 970 and 931 BC. And he placed the ark, Solomon placed the ark in a small room in the temple on Mount Zion in Jerusalem, forbidding anyone except for men of the cloth to be in his presence. And about 300 years later, the ark disappeared with debates about its location, where it still exists, where it could be hidden. And uh, this is a summary of the debate compiled by Russian journalist and religious researcher Anton Skripunov. The last recorded mention of the Ark of the Covenant dates back to 622 BC. That's when King uh, Hosea, Joshua, Joshua, Hosea, told men of the cloth that there was no longer any need to carry the holy artifact around on display to show ordinary believers. According to the legend, the ark disappeared from Jerusalem just before King Nebuchadnezzar of Babylon was to invade and destroy the city in 586 BC. And that's when the uh, exile into Babylon took place. And it was mysterious, though, that the relic was never mentioned in the list of items that were taken by the Babylonians into Babylon because they took an inventory and the inventory is uh, reported in the Old Testament. And the Ark is not in the inventory. So where did it go? It was not taken by the Babylonians. That means it stayed somewhere in Jerusalem, somewhere, somewhere around that area. Because it was not mentioned in the list of uh, inventory of the, that the Babylonians took, nor was it among the items returning to Jerusalem when King Cyrus the Great of Persia let them come back. Uh, so it's not. It's known that since its restoration, the Temple of Jerusalem has remained empty of the Ark of the Covenant. Now, according to biblical legends, the Temple built by King Solomon was destroyed because the Jews turned away from worship of the one true God during the 55-year reign of Manasseh of Judah, who propagated the cult of the Phoenician deity Baal, and the Babylonian goddess Ishtar. Now, the Judean sin of apostasy was spoken about by the prophet Jeremiah, who, according to legend, gained possession of the ark, and that it was he who hid it in a cave at Mount Nebo beyond the River Jordan. But the cave was not marked, leading to the loss of the ark. It was not marked, of course, on purpose. The story appears in the second book of Maccabees, prompted Franciscan monks to carry out large-scale search for the shrine in the 1930s. 
Commenting on this expedition, the Jordanian archaeologist Rustam Makjian recalled that the monks, quote, searched for the grave of the prophet Moses and the Ark of the, Ark of the Covenant, but to no avail. Instead, they uncovered several 6th and 7th century Byzantine temples with unique mosaics. But other historians have doubts about this account. The Book of Maccabees were not included in the Hebrew Bible, even though they are uh, to be read, and uh, we know that even our Lord Jesus Christ referred to them, the Book of the Maccabees. Uh, that's when he said, uh, when you see the abomination of desolation, don't go down to take your uh, coat, um, uh, come uh, uh, but flee to the mountains. That's exactly what the Maccabees did. Okay, so our Lord Jesus Christ was uh, re relating word by word to the book of the Maccabees. All right, so they were not included in the Hebrew Bible. The story of Jeremiah and the Ark appears only with the compilation of the second book of the Maccabees about 2nd and 1st century BC. Another account proposed by individuals including Shlomo Gorin, who is a 20th century Orthodox Zionist rabbi and Talmudic scholar feels that the Ark never left Jerusalem at all, but remains hidden under the Temple Mount. And in end times, the legend goes, when the Hebrew Messiah, the future Jewish king from the Davidic line, returns to earth, the third temple would be built and the Ark would be delivered there. As Skripunov points out, it would be difficult to verify Goran's theory archaeologically as the Temple Mount, which contains the Alaska Mosque, the third most important shrine of Islam, is guarded by the King of Jordan, while the area around the Mount, including part of the Temple's foundation, is controlled by Israel. And uh, this, in this uh, instance, Sripunov notes that the ambiguous legal status of the Temple Mount prevents full-scale archaeological survey from being carried out. Of course, Israel archaeologists have repeatedly carried out digs at its base, but this has only led to international scandals and increased tensions in the region, of course. Australian geologist and young Earth creationist Andrew Snelling, he believes that even if the Ark truly was in Jerusalem, it would have been placed in the Second Temple, as soon as it was completed by Judas King Herod the Great in the first century AD. So Snelling believes the Ark was destroyed by the Babylonians, but critics of his theory suggest that such a major event would have been spoken of in the Bible, of course. I, I also believe that. And now another idea, popular of the 20th century, based on papyrus dating back to the 5th century BC, states that the Ark of the Covenant may be Brought, may have been brought to the island of Tana Kirkos in modern-day Ethiopia and have been kept there from 400 BC to 400 AD before being taken to a place in the city of Aksum in northern Ethiopia. In 2008, researchers from the University of Hamburg said that they found evidence allowing them to indirectly confirm the authenticity of events described in this legend. The Church of Our Lady Mary of Zion, an Ethiopian Orthodox Tewahido Church in Aksum, claims to be in the possession of the Ark, and artifacts remains, uh, remains closed off from viewing to the general public, and only one priest chosen for life to guard it is given access to it. Godefa Mera, minister at the church, explained that before the invasion of Ethiopia by Mussolini's Italy in the 1930s, the shrine was open to believers once a year. The practice was stopped after the end of that war, as many of the country's holy sites were desecrated and even vandalized. But others continue to doubt that the Ark is in Aksum in Ethiopia, that they say that that's not the true Ark. They say that that is a copy of the true Ark, that was brought there by Christian believers at the end of the 3rd century AD. So in any event, Ethiopia's Christian community continues to insist on the inviolability of its main shrine, with Mera describes as contained, quote, not only the tablets with the commandments, the manna and the rod of the, the prophet Aaron, but also the soul of our people, 
end quote. Well, how can an ark contain the soul of the people? That's not possible. So still, it's still a mystery. Uh, obviously, we have not found, it has not been found yet. This is on Sputnik News. If you'd like to join me on my Patreon account, you will hear content not covered by mainstream media. These riveting stories will be based on my research and I will state my opinions and give my personal insight on diverse and controversial subjects and world events, events not covered by mainstream media and not certainly on not supported by YouTube guidelines. So whatever I have on my Patreon, most of those will not be on my YouTube channel. Please consider becoming a member today. More of the, the most significant and important videos will be on my Patreon channel. Your support helps me to continue my research and keeps this YouTube channel alive. And we depend on your support, your generous charity, because we help economically challenged families here in Athens, Greece in Kapota, and we also help the young generation with university tuition and the community around our church. Thank you.